What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Hey, I recently built myself a uh, baritone guitar, and it's probably my favorite guitar at the moment. So, that's pretty nice, right? I built this out of the same plank of wood I used for my earlier electric guitar build. Huh? Huh? And that's why the body is sort of slim. But to my liking, this is actually a very nice shape to play. And it kind of fits my hands very well. Woohoo! The neck is just a pre-built neck I ordered from eBay. I've been wanting to try if these cheapo Chinese necks are any good. And I've got to say, yeah, I've been very happy with this. It plays well and it plays in tune and it's just a neck. This wasn't like the absolute cheapest neck ever. I think this was around 50 euros, but that's because it's a baritone neck and you can get regular electric guitar necks for around 30 euros. I don't think that's bad at all considering they come with you know, the fretboard and frets and nut and everything. I would love to make my own neck for a guitar like this, but I'm really bad at, uh, you know, measuring stuff and making things carefully. So I figured I want this to be actually playable and to play in tune. So I'll leave that for another time. Thank you very much. I've never actually tried a Bigsby vibrato system like this. So I bought a cheap Bigsby of eBay for like 10 euros and it fucking sucks. I think a Fender style vibrato system is way more ergonomic and nicer to play than one of these, but it looks cool and that's cool. And now I've tried one. For the pickups, I bought some single coil lipstick pickups of course the cheapest i could find on ebay and these turned out to be probably the worst pickups ever in terms of output volume but that turned out to be probably the best thing for this guitar the super low output volume makes the sound of the guitar kind of thin and bright but i think that works very well with the baritone range. A lot of the times baritone guitars tend to be kinda muddy, especially when playing chords, but not this one. This is way better than any, any guitar ever. I thought the output volume would create some noise problems, but at least for now, I haven't had any problems with it. I do need to turn up the gain quite a bit on amps and pedals, but I don't care. I don't give a fuck. And as a strap, I used my grandfather's old belt. And that's very um, important information for y'all. Now, let's see some footage of me building the guitar. Roll the clip, Lowry. Roll it. First, I cut the wood for the body. and glued two layers on top of each other to make it thick enough. Then I roughly cut the shape of the body using a handsaw. and then continued with the rasp. I made the shape for the headstock. I made the neck pocket with a drill and a chisel.
and then the pockets for the pickups and electronics. I decided to stain the wood with some white stain. Then I attached the neck to the body. And I kind of screwed up the placement. So I had to drill some new holes for the neck plate or whatever the fuck this is called. Yeah. Next I put in the hardware and pickups. And then wired the electronics. And here is a wiring diagram. I guess this is why I shouldn't be buying the cheapest stuff on eBay. One of the tuning pegs did not have a hole. I had to drill one myself. So thank you, cheap mandolin parts. Yeah. Wow, so cool. Now let's hear what the guitar sounds like. Okay. Thank you. 
then let's try and make some actual music with the guitar and some other instruments. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. This is a heart. <laughs>